Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Stone of Age tutorial. And this is a long awaited part two of how to edit videos like PewDiePie, okay? So a few weeks I posted a video like how to edit like PewDiePie, but everyone was like dude make a part two on this so this is part two this is what you guys all have waited for so this is actually a video like how to edit like a gaming video like pewdiepie so as you can see on sony vegas we have i recorded some uh, like slithery just to like use this as an example the thing you want to do is you want to record your camera your screen and your audio separately okay because you need like if you use like obs you cannot like change uh, the face cam individually than like other tracks so what i did i just recorded myself with this camera uh, separately so as you guys can see i have a video track especially Especially like for my entire like face cam, I can touch like the entire screen of my face cam like without messing up like other things. So I'm like free to go like when, wherever I want. So what we're going to do is first of all, we're just going to start off like PewDiePie always uh, edits his videos. Okay, so starting off with the first thing, which is the face cam. He's not using like a face cam like full screen, but he's also using like like himself in a square, not like a like a regular HD uh, frame size, like in the corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to track motion, as you can see. So we're going to go over and make this actually like a little bit smaller like that. Let's place it in the corner. And we're just going to cut off like a little bit of like the surrounding. So we're going to go over to this um, icon, which is called uh, event pan crop. Then go over, over to mask, select this icon and just, I would say, select like a part of it. So. As you guys can see right now, this is me in a square and not like a like an entire screen. So that's the same list. So at this far, we have our face cam already. Let's place a little bit better in the corner, I would say right there. And I'll, let's also add like a pink face cam border. This is the pink square, as you can see. So we're gonna create a new video track like this. Then you just want to place it underneath uh, the face cam. So we're gonna click on there. And as you guys can see, it's not like fitting that like that much. So we're gonna go over to track motion, like I said, and we're just going to crop this image until it fits behind the face cam border. So we're going to go to the track motion icon right here, the white one. And we're gonna make this square fit behind the face cam. So we're just gonna go over and start like dragging it until it fits behind the face cam so it doesn't fit already. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller like that. A few moments later. As you can see, this looks pretty good. So, but it's not like really fitting. So I'm going to go back to the mo track motion track of the face cam and just make sure that it's like fitted. So I'm just going to move this guy like until it's in the middle. So as you can see, this is our face cam border. So that's going to be really simple. And like another detail, as you guys can see the screen, like, and I'm looking my face cam, I'm looking to the to the left, but I would just want to look into it like the game. So I'm just going to click on this event pan crop and I'm just going to click this one and you just want to click flip, 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 horizontal. And as you can see, this is our face cam. So the next thing that you want to do is let's say I'm going to just play the game. All right, guys, we are back at it again, as you can see. So this is Slither.io and before I actually can like make the video like how to edit like PewDiePie, I need footage. So I'm just playing Slither the Royal myself actually right now uh, just to, to be able to have like some nice uh, like gameplay so I can show you guys like how to edit like all this crazy stuff because I know how to do it and I would love to share my knowledge with you uh, so I'm just going to keep on going and I've, I've been warming up for a little bit and I got I got some I got some people because as you guys saw this guy is probably Okay, fuck it, let's go. Play against. I'm just gonna go over. I saw some Quebble Cup like logos passing by, like a PewDiePie fist and everything. I'm gonna group all layers, select all the layers and group them so they're all together. Let's say when I'm going to die, I'm going to add like a little music to it. This guy is probably. F As you guys can see, I'm dying right there. So, what I'm thinking is, it would be funny to like have myself full screen. With like the little with that little sad song, so let me just go ahead and put myself full screen. Boom! This is my reaction. So when I cut to this, that's my reaction. So I'm just going to cut this little part. I'm going to cut this. Now we're going to add in like a little black and white image, or I mean like a filter, black and white video effect applied on on there, as you guys can see. So it looks that it looks pretty good actually. I'm going to zoom in also a little bit. So I'm going to click on Event Pan Crop 
like place a keyframe, like I would say at the end and then zoom in a little bit. So, and also like, you can also turn it a little bit like to make it like look more funny. So this is what we look, oh, this is what we have already. So that's a little detail. So I'm now going to add like the sad, uh, like piano thing. So I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna add a little sad piano part. So let's see what it looks like already. And I'm going to, when I'm going to click on the fuck, I'm going to just like make myself like twist. So I'm going to go over, like cut this little part. Then you wanna go over to uh, if I'm pan crop, place a keyframe at like the end and just turn it one circle. Then place it back. Perfect. So let's see what we have already. But then I need to just turn around. So I'm going to do it on this one. If I'm pan crop, keyframe at the end, turn it like this, like that. Let's see how it looks right now. As you guys can see, I'm turning around. When I turn around, you have like everything on the background. So I'm just going to lower the opacity of everything so that I'm just turning around with like black, with a black background. And then I'm going to cut back to the game and I'm going to place my, my, my face cam back and in, in the face cam border. So that's actually like a little PewDiePie related thing, like a face cam border, which is like pink, and then the sad piano with like the black and white, and then twist and everything. That's how you do it, guys. So you can use your imagination, and I'm not going to like, like do all the details. I'm not gonna do like all the details because PewDiePie's videos are pretty uh, edited really well. So I would say that's it for the Sony Vegas tutorial, guys. I know you can just keep on going and like editing and add more stuff. So that's it for part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you again for liking and commenting on this video. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for a new SD video as always on Thursday. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.